Hi, my name is Mohib Zara, and I'm a developer advocate with EMQ Technologies. Today, I'm going to walk you through connecting EMQX, our open source MQTT broker, with Node-RED, which is an open source platform for building powerful IoT applications uh, using a flow-based programming environment. So you don't have to use any code if you don't want to. Uh, EMQX can also be run in the cloud with our free serverless instance, which you can find at emqx.io where we have all the documentation you'll need to understand how to use EMQX uh, and how to connect with the cloud version of our offering. Um, here is an example of what we'll build in this demo. This is a basic flow running in Node-RED that publishes simulated sensor data to an EMQX local instance, which you can see I have managed here. Every few seconds it publishes these simulated sensor data and then it also subscribes to that data and publishes it onto a dashboard built into Node-RED. So we can see this real-time data as it changes. So let's get started. To make this process easier, we've published a guide on Hackster.io for building an application using EMQX and Node-RED. It walks you through installing Node-RED, installing EMQX locally, or using the cloud version of EMQX, as well as how to put together these flows. So the first thing you'll want to do is figure out if you're going to be using EMQX locally or creating a cloud instance. To install EMQX, we have instructions on EMQX.io on how to install it on various platforms, as well as a downloads page, which will show you the commands you can run on whatever system you happen to be using. In this case, I'm using Mac OS, so I use these commands in a terminal, and this installed EMQX as a service. So if I wanted to stop it, I could copy this command and just change that last part to stop, but I already have it running. And then next, you'll want to install Node-RED after you've installed EMQX. So let's assume you've already installed EMQX locally and you've navigated to the dashboard page, which is provided in that guide. So it'll be hosted on your local host IP address at port 8083. Once logged in, your first thing you want to do is create an authenticator. So we go to this authentication page, we click create, and we use the defaults for a password-based authenticator using a built-in database, which uses a username and password uh, system. Then once that's created, we click on users, and we add a new user. This is how we'll connect to this MQTT broker using our various client SDKs or from Node-RED. So we'll give it a basic set of credentials. So username and password are both test. Uh, of course, this can be whatever you would like it to be for security. And we create and we hit save. Now we'll create a new flow. So in this blank flow, first thing we're going to do is filter through the nodes and type in MQTT. So we have an MQTT in node and an MQTT out node. The in node subscribes to an MQTT topic and the out node allows you to publish to a topic. So we drag this in node in first and we double click on it to open up the editor. Now I've already configured my uh, EMQX local uh, server settings onto your pr prior, but you can click edit and to use EMQX locally with Node-RED. For server, type in localhost and then port 1883. This is the default port that uh, EMQX is hosting off of. We say connect automatically and all we need to do is in the security tab, provide our user credentials. So we had set username test and password test. And now we just hit update. Now we can also select a topic we would like to subscribe to. In this case, let's type in hello slash world. So any message published to hello slash world will return on the out end of this node. We click done. And then now we add a debug node. Debug nodes take any input and display it on this debug panel on the side. Now we've set that, and now it'll subscribe to that topic. So once we hit deploy, we see that it's connected. 
if it fails, it'll tell you that it was disconnected or it was unable to connect and you can find those error messages. Now, we're subscribed to this topic, but there's nothing coming to that topic at this moment. So we'll go back in and we'll add the MQTT out node so that we can publish to this topic. And in, and in order to initiate a message to this topic, we'll drag in an inject node. An inject node, all it really does is it uh, will inject a sample message. In this case, just a random timestamp, or rather not random, but the current timestamp. And we connect that to the MQTT out node. We double click on this. We select our configuration, which gets saved globally once you've set it on any MQTT node. And we set the topic to hello world. And we click done and click deploy. Now, when we press this button next to the inject node, it injects that timestamp to the hello world MQTT out node, which publishes to the hello world topic. And since we have our MQTT in node uh, configured to subscribe to the hello world topic, it then sends it to the debug node. And now we see it here. So now we've made it so that in node red, we can both publish and subscribe to a topic on our EMQX uh, locally running broker. Now let's walk through how you'll connect to EMQX uh, using the cloud serverless version. So here I have already deployed a serverless uh, instance of EMQX. Again, this is free and you'll never have to pay for this. You don't have to provide credit card information to set up this account. And once you enter the main page for it, it provides all the connection information you need, which is the server address, the port, and the server certificate, which is used to create a secure TLS connection. So we're going to add in an MQTT in node and an MQTT out node like we did before. We'll double click on it. We'll add a new MQTT broker, click edit, and we'll provide the server address by copying it from that page. Paste it in. The port used here is 8883. Paste that in. We select use TLS, use MQTT5, and then we also want to add a new TLS configuration. And all we really need to do here is upload the cert that uh, we can download from that same page. We click add. And we'll also need to add security. We're going to uh, create a new user. So going back to the dashboard from EMQX Cloud, click on authentication and ACL, then click on authentication, click add and create a new user. So we'll call this node red, password test. And then back here, we'll type that in. We'll just double check some more things here. We'll give this a name, EMQX Cloud. And we click Add. Now let's give it a topic. We'll say node red slash cloud. And same here, we'll go ahead and select our new broker and type in our topic, node red slash cloud, and click done. Then we go back, and just as we did before, we'll add in the inject node, and we'll add in a debug node, and then click deploy. We see that they're connected. We open up the debug tab, click inject, and boom, we're getting our, our timestamp here, and that's passing through EMQX Cloud. This way you can create these IoT applications and run them anywhere, whereas with your local instance, you might be constrained to your local network unless you use port forwarding or some other way to allow outside access to your broker, such as maybe hosting it on a public cloud server. But by using the MQX Cloud serverless, 
that step is taken away and you don't have to worry about managing it yourself. You can just create your users, create your applications and use Node-RED to build those applications without code if you'd like. Another way to demonstrate the power of using MQTT with Node-RED is by using the MQTTX uh, client application. It's a test client that lets you create connections to an MQTT broker. It's free, you can download it and install it on any machine. And here we're gonna connect it to our cloud broker. We could also do this with a local EMQX broker. And we're going to use that to publish and subscribe to messages using this app. So again, we'll go back to our cloud deployment, copy the server address. We created a new connection using the MQTTX app. We'll call it our cloud node red test. We'll let it use the randomized client ID. We'll paste in our broker address. We know our port is 8883. We're using TLS. It already has the server certificate for EMQX uh, built into the application. We'll type in our username and password and we'll click connect. And we see that it's connected. Now, we knew that in our flow here that we're subscribed to Topic Node Red Cloud. And so we'll use that topic here to publish to. So down here we can create a test um, message. So we do node red slash cloud and we'll send the message hello world. So we publish that and we see that we received it here. Now the same can be done with subscribing to that topic that we're also publishing to, right? So node red slash cloud. And then when we click this inject again, we see that the timestamp came through on the MQTTX app. So we can use this to quickly test things. We have two different types of applications talking through node red using MQTT. Now let's create something that might be more of a practical use case. We'll create a new flow that's blank and we'll go back to the Hackster guide and towards the bottom, we've actually provided a sample flow. So we can go ahead and copy the JSON for the sample flow. This is the se sensor simulation flow. And in the top right, we'll select import from the menu, paste in this JSON flow, import it to the current flow, which is already blank, click import, and we'll click import copy. And we see it in this flow here. Now, um, because we copy this flow over, we do need to go back in and reconfigure these MQTT nodes. Let's select our local instance and do that for both MQTT nodes. Uh, what I've also done is I've installed the node red dashboard um, node. This is what allows me to create this dashboard. So that is a uh, user contributed node. There's several ways to install it. You can go from the side menu, select manage palette and select the install tab, type in dashboard find Node-RED dashboard and click install. I've already installed it. You can also install it from the command line as it is a NPM package. We've also got this inject node that does something a little bit differently. We have it set to repeat on an interval every three seconds. We also have this function node that simulates a payload by uh, creating random sensor values and applying it as a JSON payload, which is then published onto that topic, local test. Here we click deploy, and we can see messages are now publishing at an interval. And then to look at the dashboard, we click the carrot over here, click dashboard, and we'll use this sideways arrow icon to open up the live dashboard. So now we've successfully created a flow that 
processes data, in this case it fakes data, um, publishes it to the MQTT broker, also subscribes to that broker, and then passes it along to some sort of application to dis display it. Now you can do a lot more with Node-RED from here. Like I said, you know, it's very easy to install any of these user contributed nodes. So if I were to select type in GCP, there's a number of nodes for working with Google, Google's cloud platform or for AWS or perhaps even uh, IoT applications such as uh, Alexa or Amazon Echoes or Philips Hue light bulbs. There's plenty of integrations available through Node-RED as well as many nodes to process transform uh, and do all sorts of other things with um, simple nodes built into the application. I hope this video was informative and helpful. Again, the full guide is written up on hackster.io. You can go check that out through the hackster.io slash EMQ tech page where we have all of our different guides as well for using EMQX with different uh, applications and uh, projects. Uh, you can also go to emqx.io and we have an entire section on how to join our community. So if you have any other questions or you have projects you want to share with us, anything at all, uh, please join our Discord community. We're on there pretty regularly. You can chat with us uh, and get to know other people in the community who are building awesome uh, IoT applications using emqx. Thank you and I'll see you on the next one.